got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some grilled steak and beer soup. And to cook this up, you're going to need yourself some bacon. You're going to need yourself a few pounds of beef steak. You want to choose a lesser cut because we're going to be stewing this. And also you're going to need some veggies. So if you can't look, just turn your eyes. You're going to need a zucchini squash, some garlic. You're going to need some celery. You're going to need some onions. You're going to need some carrots. You're going to need some mushrooms, and here I've got some oregano. You're also going to need about eight cups of beef stock, or even a chicken stock if you don't have beef. You're going to need a little bit of oil. You're going to need yourself some beans, and here I've got uh, some kidney beans. And you're going to need a couple of bottles, 12 ounce bottles of brew. You're going to need some pepper, and you're going to need some salt. All right. This is real easy to do, so let's put this together. Now, if you've never had grilled steak and beer soup, man, you got to check this out. This is real good. All right, we're going to start by chopping the veggies, and we don't want to see that, so just move it along. All right, through the miracle of time, most all these veggies have been chopped. Now, what you're going to need here is um, two chopped carrots or sliced carrots like that. You're going to need two stalks of uh, chopped celery. You're going to need uh, at least two onions chopped. And you're going to need a couple of cloves, maybe two or three cloves of uh, garlic. You want to chop them up. And uh, we've taken about three slices of bacon. We've chopped them up also. Man. All right. That's good enough. Now that the hard part of this recipe is over here, we're going to uh, sear up some steak. Now, we don't want to cook these steaks through. We just want to sear them both sides, get a nice layer of flavor. We want that grilled steak flavor in this soup. And uh, so you want to uh, salt and maybe pepper up some of your steaks here and uh, sear them just a couple minutes each side. Now, this is the good part of this recipe. Now, like I said, uh, use a lesser cut of beef on this. Uh, you don't need a real tender beef because... Uh, once these steaks have been seared and uh, cubed up, we're going to slow simmer it in some of this beef broth I have here. All right. Now, I guess I really don't need to be showing you uh, how to sear a steak, but I kind of like this part. So just hang in there. I've got a few pounds of it. getting hungry. Again, just a quick sear of both sides and get that nice grilled steak flavor. And we got one more. Now go ahead, fast forward. <laughs> you can just watch. All right, these steaks have been seared. Now we're going to put those aside for just a little bit because what we want to do now is uh, we want to cook down these vegetables just a little bit. Now we'll start by uh, adding a little bit of uh, cooking oil here, or a salad oil, a good light oil. Now we're going to add that bacon. Because we have laws around here at the pit about hanging with too many veggies at once, we're going to move this part of the video along. All right, the veggies are in the pot, and uh, we're just going to cook this down for a few minutes. We just want to soften up this onion a bit. You don't want to saute them all the way through. You just want to soften them up. Man. Now, while we're waiting, we're going to uh, cube up these steaks. We want to cut them up into about oh, bite size. Now, this beef is still pretty tough, and uh, the whole idea now is to tenderize them. So, uh, 
We're going to, uh, like I said, cube them up. We're going to throw them in the pot. And we're going to simmer them for a couple hours. Get this beef nice and tender. All right, the steak has been cubed. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to throw it in the pot. We're going to mix it up with these veggies. Whoa, man. Those are done. Oh yeah, give it a little mix. Now this grilled steak and beer soup goes real good in the cold evenings. Man, this here is gonna feed a lot of people. Now we're gonna uh, salt and pepper to taste. And here I've got some oregano. We're going to put about one teaspoon of uh, chopped oregano in there. That's a dry oregano. And now we're going to add the magic of this soup. Here I've got a couple of bottles of beer. And uh, choose your beer wisely. You always want to use your favorite kind of beer. Now, uh, some will use a Pilsner. Here I've got a, an ale. You've got to choose something you like because uh, this beer is going to impart a lot of flavor. Now I'm going to add some beef stock. And uh, I'm going to use about eight cups. Now, like I said, if you don't have beef stock, you can use a chicken stock for this or a good beef bone stock. Oh, yeah. Give it a good mix. Now, what we want to do is uh, bring this soup up to a slow simmer. And it's going to take a couple hours to tenderize this beef. All right, about an hour has gone by, and we're going to check this out. Now, depending on what kind of cut of beef you have, will determine how quick, of course, your meat is going to tenderize. But uh, this is going to take a couple hours, and it's starting to look real good. Man, you got neighbors are going to start climbing the fence. Well, there'll be plenty. All right. It's been about two hours. The beef is nice and tender. You can see uh, it's cooked down a bit. Man, you getting hungry or what? Now we're gonna add the rest of the veggies. Now here I've got those kidney beans and uh, we're using about, oh, maybe about 30 ounces of kidney bean right there. And here I have that zucchini and the mushroom. Now we're just gonna bring this up to simmer again and let it simmer for maybe 15 minutes. We just wanna tenderize the zucchini ready to eat. All right. I say it's time to eat. Take a look at that. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, some pit soup right there. Now this is where you want to uh, samp a little bit. You may have to do salt and pepper more to taste. It's up to you. I think it's time to eat. Now that's a soup line I wouldn't mind getting in. <laughs> in fact, I think I'm gonna make a bowl for myself. All we need is a little bit of garlic bread with that. In fact, I do apologize, but uh, I think I may have to eat some of this right in front of you. Mm -hmm. It's good. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, you check out thebarbecuepitboys.com.